What's going on everyone? Cobalt Archer here. Now, I ended up backtracking here because I wanted, before we start making our final preparations to take off, I wanted to see if we can find one of the Sea Emperor's babies here. I looked up the locations that they should have dispersed into, though they are rather small, so maybe a little hard to find them. But uh, I want to see if we can find one. So I took the sea moth out because I figured it'll be our fastest way to get around. Um, said that they can be found around here. Believe, man, we have not been to the island in a minute. Oh, so this is what the bottom looks like. God, how are we ever going to find it in here? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the Leviathan we want to find. That's a ghost Leviathan. We don't want to go. Ghost Leviathan. Okay, so I decided to try a different one because I... The, it's just... It's too big of an area, the Grand Reef. And with the ghost Leviathan being over there, I'm a little too intimidated. Um... So we're going to try the mountains, which I know is reaper territory, but I think if I'm in my cyclops, I should be okay from the reapers, and I brought the prawn suit along so I can kill the reaper if I have to. Um, but we're going to go check out the mountainous area, because I think the mountains sh supposedly has one of the babies living there, so I want to go see the little squirt. But it's going to be impossible to find these little squirts. Anyways, they're just too tiny. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen a reef back chill out of the water like that. God, I hate that when you just enter this area, you can just start hearing reapers, but I'm not actually seeing any reapers. Oh, look at the gun all power down. Why is it so dark? I think that's a reaper leviathan down there. Yeah, it moved. Okay. We're just gonna wait until it hopefully gets to daytime. Yes, we never really did see the Reaper Leviathan, now did we? We managed to avoid them pretty well. Because I find them to be the most horrifying thing this game has ever spawned. Is it bad I'm tempted to go kill it? We're gonna make bad decisions. Bad decisions. Oh, this thing's gonna jump scare me, I know it. That sounded close. Oh, it's coming for me! I can beat you! Where'd you go, you big bastard? Oh, we kicked- Whoa! Where? Oh, I see you! Oh, you're horrifying! Quick mid-fight repairs. I see you, big guy. Come here. I'll kick your ass. Oh, you big coward? Oh, what's that? Oh, you got me. You got me. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, you big guy. Oh, it's not so fun when you're the one getting picked on now, is it, you big dumb idiot? Come on, you big dummy. Come at me! What are you doing up here? You being stupid? Oh, what's up, you big idiot? Oh, yeah, shake me around. Oh, you're so scary. You're running out of room to run. Ah! 
Look at you all on land and stuff. Buddy, you're not supposed to be up here. What are you doing? You're an angry elf. Oh, crap. But he seems a little confused. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not able to just come out of the water like that. That's not okay. How much health do you have left? I've beaten the crap out of you. Oh, you're just gonna throw me like that? No, 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 no. That's not how this goes. I'm kicking your ass. You're not kicking mine. What the hell? Uh. I think you might be having some mental issues here. Oh. It's interesting that the sound that he makes doesn't carry out of the water. Oh, there you are. Oh, what do you think this is? You think you're just gonna... Oh, you're grabbing me right out of land. That makes you, honestly, a little bit more terrifying. The fact that you can basically just come right onto land and grab me to kick my ass. Also, I killed the ghost leviathan way easier than I was to kill you. I thought you would have been way more deadified by now. Also, this episode was not meant to be just turning into fighting. I had a lot planned for this episode. But, uh, here we are. Oh, we did it! We killed him! Oh, suck it! Oh, suck it, you big bastard boy! Hell yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Well, now that that little side quest has been, uh, handled, let's head back to our Cyclops and go back to the actual side quest we were working on. I just had to know if I could do it. Okay. We're back, everyone, and it's time to check out what the rocket looks like. Whoa. Can I build in here? Oh, no, I can't. That would have been cool. Ooh, lockers. Oh, I can bring stuff with. Communications array. Oh, cool. What's up here? This is the cockpit. Hello. What do we got going on here? Primary CPU. Prepare the time capsule. Fascinating. So we can put some stuff in there. All right. Well, I think that it's time to make final preparations here. So we're going to stop on by our base and pick up some stuff here. Because I got a few things I want to do. Time capsule. I want to put some cool stuff in the time capsule. You know, I want to I want to make them really excited. So we're going to put some of these rarer resources in that are a little bit harder to get. Uh, we're not going to give them ion, though. They can get ion for themselves. All right. Um, I also want to bring some of my creatures along because I love them and I'm going to miss them. So let's grab a few here. I'm gonna take you, and my inventory's full just off of you. Um, this is gonna take a few trips. But I wanna bring back some fauna for them to study. And so that I can keep some, because I'm definitely gonna have an at-home aquarium when I get back to whatever planet I'm from. I'm guessing it's Earth, but you never know with these days. You never know. Time capsule. Let's get you prepared here. So, we're gonna throw in you, 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 and you. You. 
No, not you. You. There. Can't do anything with that, but it's a little fun starter pack. Um, we gotta finish preparing it here. We'll throw in a cool image of the gun in. Uh, enjoy your time under the sea. Time capsule ready. Cool. I'm not, though. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. Uh, I gotta make a few more stops here. So, uh, yeah. I don't think we're gonna be able to bring all the small ones, unfortunately, but that's okay, that's okay. We'll at least have the cool, more interesting fingers here. I would like to set this free. Bye, buddy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, you're so cute. Play with you? Uh, you want a treat? You want a treat? You want a cracker? Hey, hey, hey you're so cute. Okay. Um, go get rid of what I can here, and then we'll go fill up with my inventory with the, as many of those little creatures as I can. Okay. I think that's all the storage space we got here. So I'm gonna go load up with as many of those little fish as I can bring with us. And I'm also gonna go eat quick. Don't wanna go adventuring the stars on an empty stomach. And uh, I guess we should make our final farewells to our base here. This is the, this is the end of it. Goodbye, my base. I think. But that is one of every kind of fish here except the Gary fish. But the Gary fish is rather boring. So not too much of a loss there. The rest I think are all pretty fascinating. So I think it's time. You know, let's take one last look at our base and head out for the stars. I absolutely love this base location. This is a really cool base location and I highly recommend making a cool base like this for yourself. And I love how this turned out. Oh, an end of an era. All right, and with a full inventory of strange alien creatures, it's time to make the final preparations. Goodbye, Aurora. Hope I uh, never have to see you again. Goodbye, SS Cobalt, Espe or Cobalt Crusher, Cobalt Depths. Me and the Cobalt Nebula are headed out. Let's make the final preparations here. Auxiliary power unit online. Make sure everything is nice and activated here, Auxiliary ready to go. Systems array active. Pressurizing hydraulics. All right, first steps are done. Get the life support system up and running here. Life support systems online. And last but not least, let's get the primary CPU going. Primary computer systems active. All right, I think that means Your it's time. Are go for lift off. Here we go. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Oh, do I get to press the button? Launch. Launching! Ten, nine, eight. Sky race! Watch out! Oh, watch out! Get out of the way! One. Oh, I hope they survived that. There goes my time capsule. Enjoy that one, whoever finds it. Let me know if you find it out there. Oh, and we're headed off into space. Caution, approaching orbital debris field. Oh, crap. There's salvage from the Aurora. Oh, no. Good thing we had the Cyclops shield. Field clear. Minimal damage. I'll fix that later. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Ooh, look at the planet. Confirm 
and destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar. Not a lot of land. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. Oh. There is the tease for the second one that we'll be playing soon at Subnautica Below Zero. At some point we'll play that. Oh, ho, ho, this is dope. Woo! What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. Rest easy, we friendo. We are different, but we go together. Rest easy. Oh, that's bright as hell, by the way. Holy crap. Oh, something lost power there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, I love this game, and I hate this game so much. Oh, I changed the light. Oops. There we go. This game is one of my favorite games. I've played it so much. I've been playing it since it was way back in early access. Way, way, way before this game became nearly what it is. And I, I'm i so happy I finally got to beat it. This is really incredible. And I love this game. This game honestly might be the scariest game I've ever played. Unintentionally. I've played a lot of really scary games. Not, not as many as I should have, but quite a bit. None of them nearly have made me freak out nearly as much as this game. This game sets this sense of dread that no other game has ever been able to match of fear. Um, I'm gonna stick around and make sure there's nothing after the credits, but after that, I think it's time, finally time to wrap this series up. I'm sorry we couldn't find the Sea Emperor Leviathan babies there. I did want to say goodbye to them. I don't know where they went, but I think that they're doing okay out there. Um, I should have let go all of those creatures that we have kidnapped go, but that's okay. They're fine. They'll just live out their existence there. They'll, it's got a ton of power in it. It's going to take forever for them to lose power. They'll probably die before they lose power anyways, so they're okay. Don't worry about it. See you guys after the credits. Welcome home to all terror. Oh. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits i don't think i'm landing that's a lot of money i knew that line in the beginning had to pay out about when i picked up the diamond and it was like oh we'll put it to your tab oopsies but once again i absolutely love the series i hope you guys did too feel free now you can binge the whole series and at some point coming soon we'll probably play subnautica below zero but we're going to take a little bit of a layback from terrifying underwater games and play some other terrifying games so if you like this video hit that like button to let me know if you like the series hit that like button to let me know leave a comment down below of any other games you want to see me play in the future and uh subscribe for more because a lot of you aren't subscribed and you keep on watching which i appreciate but hit that subscribe button it'll be a lot to me so i'll see you guys in the next one peace